Hello everybody and welcome back to Syracuse Aviation. Today I have another model aircraft review for you guys. So if you've been around the channel for a while you'll know that I usually don't do just a, uh, a plain and simple model aircraft review unless it's something that's either really special to me or just a model that's overall really nicely done and one that deserves its own video. And today's decision was really easy to decide that. Um, this model is just ridiculous in so many good ways. Uh, it's just a really nice plane. So, we have the Breeze E195 by Gemini 200. Um, before we get started with the plane, we're going to take a very quick look at the box. Just, you know, it's not the main item, so I don't like to spend a whole lot of time on it. Gemini 200, Breeze banner, CGI. Uh, there's a little bit of grease there from the plane, which it came with a lot of. Not a big deal, but something to point out. Item number, 1 to 200 scale. There's your button there. Uh, the left side, top right side obviously you can pause the video if you want to read any of this uh 2021 release everything else there looking nice as per usual a little bit of scuff marks at the top nothing really doesn't really matter to me though so there's the box very very nice um it did come with a stand this is this is actually my pointer for today, but this is just one part of it. I don't know what the rest is. Uh, I don't really care, quite frankly, because the Gemini 200 stands suck, as you guys probably know. If you have any of the recent Gemini 200s, they're just not good. Don't use them. The plane will probably fall off and break, or the stand. Literally, the piece that holds the stand together is brittle, and it cracks and just falls apart. So don't ever use them. If you're going to put it on a stand, get a nice, sturdy, solid stand. Half the time, these stands don't even fit into the plane, so... Um, at any rate, I digress, and I'm really good at that. So, I'm going to get started up front after I zoom in really quick with the nose cone, of course, the cockpit windows and your windshield wipers. You got some pitot tubes and stuff like that, really nice details there. L1 door, nose gear, and the nose gear doors down here. Um, your Breeze billboard titles, along with the beacon light on top there. Let's see if I can get this... Uh, little bit more clear for you guys that should be okay um, antenna there's one on the bottom too your engines leading edge landing light um, your fuel tank markings there on the wing with your spoilers flaps and flap tracks uh, overing exit and roots there um, the one it's not even really an issue. I don't even know if this is necessarily incorrect. Maybe the winglet is just a little bit too long and pointy and sharp looking. I know that's how it is in the 190 and 195, but I just feel like it looks a little bit too too long or something on this one. I could be wrong. Um, I apologize if I am. But even if it is the case, it's not that far off. Um, it's still very, very close to you know, how it should be uh, for the 190 slash 95 and this is the 195 but they're the same thing so flybreeze.com down there another antenna and another antenna there and the unique piece on the bottom whatever that antenna is that just you know continues up the till um november 190 bravo zulu is the registration l2 door with the check mark just looks so cool looks really good some awesome details back here on the horizontal stabilizers and kind of the roots where they're connected at. There's your APU exhaust cone. Man, this is just so nice. Everything about this plane, guys, I mean, really, it's so, so good. Um, we do have another antenna um, behind this uh, R2 door here, which is very small uh, compared to the others, but it is there and it is a really nice detail to have. Um, this plane is ridiculous, it's so good. Um, everything on the right side is pretty much the same except you got your baggage doors. There's one there below the Z, and I assume there's one in the back somewhere. Uh, yeah, right there. So, uh, let's see, did I miss anything? Yeah, the bottom. Let's take a brief look at this, set it down very gently on the box. Zoom out for y'all. Um, very, very detailed everywhere on this plane. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, your breeze underbelly, um, everything, you know, on the bottom of the wings and the engines, there's your main gears, obviously they roll just like the nose gear. Beacon light there, there's your stand hole, if it would focus. Oh, that's much better, look at that. Wow. 
This is fantastic. So good. It's amazing, really. I mean, everything from the from the underbelly to all the little antennas they put on it. Um, I think even the, well, I don't know if the fan blades spin per se, but they're at least, uh, you know, um, I'll actually try to get you a look at them once I set this down. Well, we'll, we'll just go from here. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, that's really good. Very, very good. Um... I don't think you can see through there, which not a huge deal at all. Um, yeah, that is the, whoops, that is the Gemini 200 Breeze E195. Guys, do yourself a favor and pick this up for sure. Um, you know, if it interests you, um, it will not disappoint. 100% worth it for what I paid. I got this in uh, Kansas City at the Airliners International Convention this year. Um, 100% worth it, really, really like it. Spot on, really good job by Gemini Jets from their Gemini 200 line. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's model review. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It'll really help me out a lot. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.